It's the Mofo here. I've been uh, working on these firmware updates I've been talking about. Uh, <clears throat> got a pretty couple of pretty cool ones. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can't show you some of the different characteristics of them uh, here on a short video. So bear with me here and let's see if this works. All right, so here we have just a uh, let's see, <clears throat> just an, a new ugly chassis, right? And uh, it's pretty heavy, uh, running a brass servo in the front, you got the X-15 axles on here, some weighted wheels. It's a chunk, right? It's got some beef to it. But uh, <clears throat> we do have, let's see, what was I getting ready to say? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a couple different tunes on here. This one is actually running a Nano Bam. If you can read that, you probably can't. This is a nano bam. This is the LCG mount here, and uh, so it kind of sits it right there in the frame rail. It allows you to run the forward battery still on the ugly chassis and other ones. So uh, let's just kind of get to it here and see if I can't show you something of uh, how this all operates here. So with this current tune on here, this is basically just your uh, kind of stock. <clears throat> nano bam tune here right um, just kind of set up so that everything works fairly smooth good low end good power whatnot so I can kind of show you hey, if you can see the motors moving there we got our super duper low speed here super duper low speed does have lots and lots of power if I sat here for five minutes this will just slowly climb my hand here let me speed it up a little bit first. Get kind of up my hand. We'll slow it back down. It'll just sit here going super duper slowly. Or you can ramp it up. And this is set on kind of like a soft start. So let me show you what that is. So I don't know if you can hear it kind of winding up. Kind of winds up with the soft start on there, a little easier on the drivetrain and everything else. So uh, next tune I want to show you. This is just your basic tune here, kind of all around. Works good for pretty much everything. Uh, next one I'm going to show you is a little fun. These other tunes are just kind of fun right now. Um, so let me just go up here on the screen. Uh, make this bigger, but it doesn't really actually get any bigger for you guys. So. Close connection first off. Connect. <clears throat> and let's put a different tune on here. This is the new, uh, gosh, the new tool here, by the way. This is the config tool 1.93 for firmware version 2.19 and higher. So you can see there's a few more settings on here. Uh, other stuff you can change. Um, this is just the tune that I got to work really well that I've been playing with here. Um, a timing set. There's also an auto timing, a variable pulse width, and auto pulse width frequency by RPM. There's an active break on stop now instead of just a break on stop. There's all sorts of really cool new features in here. Um, you can also <clears throat> save config files and load config files right here on the flash page, which is what we're going to use. Here's your input section. Uh, a little bit easier to notice here. Let me just move that over there. So now you have here where your voltage is, low voltage cutoff. You can see it actually shows a 3.3 instead of a 330 now. And above that, you have a absolute voltage cutoff. So if you wanted to set uh, just a regular number to turn off the battery there, when it gets to a certain voltage, it will just cut that off at that certain voltage if you want to set that. There's also a temperature limit, current limit, um, and all your different servo settings here and, and whatnot. Uh, so let's go ahead and load a different config file. I've been saving them in this folder here the base ESC settings. This one's kind of fun. Uh, these are just kind of novelty settings I've been playing with here. This one uh, I've saved as no sign config. I wanted to call it all the power, but it didn't really uh, 
So now that I've, I've hit load on here and I've clicked on it, I'm going to go to settings and I'm just going to hit save. And it should load the new settings here. Um, so this one is basically, oh, let me hit close connection. <clears throat> this is basically like an older ESC now. You hear the whine now, the slight little, ee, can you hear that on camera? I don't know. Maybe you can. Oh, you know what? I forgot to change my reverse setting. Hang on. Let me change my reverse setting on here. Uh, these are saved <clears throat> for a forward facing motor, not a reverse facing LCG motor mount like I'm using right now. So let me click that on, hit save, close. Okay, so now you hear that tiny little hum there. Listen to this, it gets louder. You hear that little What is the purpose of that? Nothing. This is basically just the NanoBam now running with no sign control. No uh, FOC or you know whatever you want to call it. And so you can see it still goes slow pretty well. It'll it'll cog out like this if you really lightly touch it. But tons of power though. Even in this mode, still tons of power. And this thing has really good traction on this desk. You can probably hear it. You can hear it screeching. It's hard to even roll on the desk here, just screeching the tires across. So that's a kind of fun setting. If you like noise, if you want to annoy people while you're on the trails, that's a little bit fun. Now, one more fun setting to show you guys here. Uh, and then I'm going to have to make more usable settings. But God got it, the fun settings are where it's at. So let me go here. Plug that back in. <clears throat> Connect. And uh, this next one we're going to load is called a Roll to Stop. Uh, as you can tell from the name of it, you can probably imagine what it's going to do. So let's go to settings, hit save, and I actually need to uncheck that. Go back to here. Don't pay attention to what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to resave this. Uh, roll to stop. Okay, did I save that or did I just load that? I can't remember. Let's do it one more time. Oh, here we go. Okay. So roll to stop. Oh, dang, nab it. Okay, reverse rotation, save config file, roll to stop, save. Yes, I would like to replace it. All right, so here we have now, you see it does, it does not show the reverse rotation. So I need to turn that on and save it. And so any of you guys who want to run a, a worm gear axle, but are wanting to, you know, not uh, not flip over if you're going really really fast right if you got a really fast motor in there and you don't want to flip over when you let off the gas this one's kind of cool because it'll it'll actually roll to a stop and that's not the axles doing that that's the settings as you can see, this does have worm gears. This is a uh, SCX24 based axles. And even you can see when there's no load on it, it will roll to a stop. Now you can hit the brake and make it come to a stop instantly. As you can see. But that's cool, not so much for this rig, not very cool. But if you got, uh, you know, a rig with some monster truck tires on it or something, you're driving it and you ramping things, you don't want to flip over in the air, or you don't want to let off the gas and come flipping over end over end because the worm gear is locked up. Now you can see it does not roll still when it's sitting here. The axles are not doing the rolling, it's the settings continuing to roll after you let off the throttle. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, not something that's available on all different ESCs, especially for these little crawlers with worm gears. Now, you know, you can still come to a stop, or you can just roll to a stop. Pretty neat. Thought I'd share a little bit with you guys. Um, other than that, I'll probably do a better video here shortly at some point with, you know, more talking about this and how all the rest of it works. And, uh, uh, should be available um, on the website the new firmwares and the new uh, settings tool likely in likely this week likely this week probably in the next couple days if I get more time to finish the other baselines for the different motors um, and if not maybe I'll just throw it on there without a bunch of baselines and let you guys figure it out on your own Otherwise, it's not super hard. It's not rocket science, and it is kind of fun to play with all these different settings. So I hope you enjoyed this short little video, and I hope you're having a great day, and we'll talk to you all soon.